All right, everybody. New people. Don't know how either of these guys play. Let's try this one out for size. Okay, we got a 1v1 going on with Pro Rico and Sky SSO. Alright. So Damn, I wonder if anyone else like Pro Marine, Pro Hardy, Pro Chosen. I wonder if they still play from time to time. Oh god. Alright. Just like the other 1v1s, which is usually standard, 8 goes Supply Depot, 9 will go Barracks. And then this, when this is done, he'll probably put another Barracks, and then tw on 12 PSI, he'll put another Barracks. And then when the third, when this one's done, he's going to put a Supply Depot, and... 15 he'll go for gas Been around the scene for a long time. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about, but we'll see Never know He's gonna go for a late Mid late game Cuz he's not he's not scouting or rushing yet, so oh, This could be interesting because the mid game, I would give the Ter in Terran's favor. It's not like one of them is mid base. Two of them are mid base. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, and unfortunate. I've been there, buddy. Scouting the wrong way. It happens all the time. He's going to scout across the map for looking for. That does two things. One, you can catch a scout going around the map. Or two. You can also, you, so most of the time, I mean not most of the time, but a lot of the times, you'll see it being like directly, like top left, or bottom right, or, you know, directly across from each other. I've noticed that over the years, and they're going to, I'm pretty sure they've seen it. They're, they know what their race is going to be, so he's going to try to get stim after he gets his academy down. Yep. Um... Stim against a Protoss is so good, especially with the fire bats. If he's gonna go fast bats, I don't know. Um, I would make a barracks right here and just float it over, or just float one over. But I, I wouldn't want to ruin my constant macro build up. I would, I would just make one right here and just float over and get that quick. Uh, fire bat push that could make a GG right then and there oh this is gonna go close uh, he's in the base all right so he sees what he has he sees what he has so let's see if he does decide to try to make it float right there Stim should be almost done. It doesn't show me unless I was in replay mode, but I like watching them live. I don't like having a replay bar where I can see how long it's going to be. I like it live. Don't know what's going to happen. Don't know how close or how soon, I mean, it's going to end. Um, he's just literally harassing everything, keeping vision, making sure he can see what's going on. That SCV is about to die. right now oh no 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 he's still just trying to all right he's just trying to be a nuisance that's good micro by him he's literally messing with him right now which is it's a good thing because it's keeping his attention off of what he's doing he's not even pumping drones or, i mean probes right now as you can see now he is <clears throat> excuse me I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, if he pushed, uh, it's close. He's doing. A, oh, I thought he was gonna do a run by. He might have if he saw more cannons, but I think he he thinks he can break the choke. And if he breaks the choke, that's that's crucial. 
to break the choke. If you break that choke, he's just gonna have tanks tanking him in and shit. So uh, he should be having his drops. In. Oh, he went triple CC. This could be a really long game then. He's gonna start building cannons around, defending himself from drops. Meanwhile, he's probably gonna go drops himself. Cause he's getting storm quick and he's not focusing so much on macro. Yeah, all right. He's going for drops and then unit push. Standard toss strat. We're six minutes into the game, so I want to say by eight minutes, he's going to push out. And the drops will be done in, I don't know if the storm's done or not, or if he started or what, but if, let's say that storm's done, he should have drops. He should be dropping him in 40, nah, a minute, a minute. A minute and a half he'll probably get the drop off he's got to build some turrets he's got to watch out for those dark tempos because we are playing blood war we're not playing original so definitely need some turrets around our main even if he doesn't drop you the templars will just destroy you i mean you do have scan that's good but one scan You're going to have to wait. Let it recharge. By the way, this is game one in a best of three series. Okay. I don't know how his pump management's going because I can't see the progress bar. I don't know what if he has units in there or which one's empty. Because if he doesn't, because his minerals are so low, if he doesn't have the units pumping out, you're making gateways for no reason. You guess yes, you're staying broke, but you want to be able to. There's no point in having a gateway if you're not going to use it. So. I want to say it took me years to figure, like, to realize that I was doing that. I was just overbuilding. But I was six years old, so. <laughs> I'm proud, probably like 10 to 11 or 12. That's when I made sure I didn't make an extra gateway if I couldn't support it. Ain't nobody getting drops off. So. This is probably going to be a 20, 15 to 20 minute game. Neither person is attacking. He's going to try to get drops off. I don't think he'll get it off though. Because if Zealots had the speed. I don't, I don't know. paying attention I don't know how many he got I mean he got some but he he it didn't really put a dent out into him because he's already got he's got over a thousand minerals he's not even staying broke right now but he's also got a bunch of SCVs you know pumping out still so it's not like that really affected him that much um, but you I do expect to, to see constant drops back to back to back um, what I would do is, since you have 
all these shuttles. Put some zealots. Yeah, there you go. Zealots in. Take out these turrets. And then, um, I think that, oh, that's exactly what he's doing. And then you can just keep on dropping Templars. Interesting. And here comes his drop attempt. He is not going to get it off. I don't know what he's got in there, but no matter what he has in there, it's not going to make a dent. And he knows it now. So he's trying to go in a different way, but it's it's blocked off. Because even if he gets his drop down, the tanks, if he has tanks in there, they have to go into siege mode. And it and it's like it's a five second um, transition. So five seconds is the world in StarCraft. Timing has to be as perfect as possible. Whoever has their timings down perfectly will win the game. And basically, oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did he see him? I don't know if he's just putting cannons here. But, to like, just attack it. But if he didn't see him, he might be making an expansion over here. And they're both, they both made an expansion at the same base. Oh my god. He didn't see it. He's making carriers. No, dude. Oh my god. Or, well, he, I mean, he did not necessarily making carriers. I mean, he, but... He's, he's got the fleet beacon, so there's a chance he's going on carriers. Oh my god, I don't think they see each other yet. They still didn't see each other. Oh, that's close, that's close, that's close. He had to have seen him now. I think, yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, they're making expansion. This, this, is, a, this is a good match. I told you it was going to be an end game, though. It's going to be a 15 to 20 minute game. We're at 12 minutes and 40 seconds. But, okay, he he see, he sees six. Okay, he saw him. He saw, he saw him now. He canceled his building to save his bunny. Very smart play. I don't think he knows that he has an expansion of his resources, though. He's checking it though. Oh, that's key. That is fucking key right there. He just checked that. So even if he keeps storming him, he'll have some kind of resources coming. All right, now the Protoss has this as an advantage. He he got a he he got a lot right there. I don't know how much again, but. He definitely got a lot right there. He's not blocking him in, which is an issue. He's also using... Let me also explain something. The reason why they also make expansions over here is because they'll have somewhere to dodge. So, basically, he can grab his SCVs, or unless he has them hotkeyed. You know, sometimes I hotkey them. It depends if I think it's going to be a lot late or early game or whatever. But, um, what it'll do is he'll... Wait, eight, nine, zero, whatever he hotkeys it as, and that way he can just click over here, or even hotkey the area. I think it's Shift F three or four, whatever it is. But anyway, he can hit Shift F four or whatever. Yeah, see, and then it'll just like I'm over here, and then look, boom. You can basically get to that screen, and then you hit. So then you can hit F4, you can get your SCVs, or you can, let's say you hit 5, control, if I hit control, like 3 or whatever, I mean, I'm not in control of them, but they'll grab those SCVs, and now he has then the dodge, he can hit right here to get them out right away, so he just missed this whole entire storm, 
And now, yeah, he does have them hotkeyed. So he has all those SCVs hotkeyed. So now he can just go like this. Boom, boom. And then go, and go, go, and then go right back to his base. So he'll go boom, 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 boom. So. You guys get the point, but we have carriers anyway. Let's go see what the base is looking like. All right. Oh, jeez. Not looking good for blue right now. He going for nukes, it looks like. Multitasking, there you go. Yeah, he didn't want no parts of that right there. My guess is he's going to, um... He has his barracks floating in the air over here so he can see when the drop's coming sooner. So he can dodge sooner. Oh, there you go. Did it again. He did get... I think he did get a couple though. Not enough to damage him. But... Oh god, dude. He's got a lot of tanks and he has, and he has carriers. This is not looking good for blue. Zealots and carriers and tanks have no shot in hell. You know what I never, I never understood? Why can't tanks shoot air? If you think about it, in real life tanks shoot air. They shoot helicopters out of the sky, right? So... I don't get it. I never understood that. But anyways, back to the point and the topic at hand. We are going and we are getting Blue's getting his trying to break his choke right now and trying to outmass him in. I think there's too many Templars and I I, I, I think there's art there's carriers, but I think there's arbiters coming. Where's the arbiter? I always love using arbiters. My favorite Protoss unit to use. about to get stormed. Alright. This is where he sees the carriers. I don't think he even knew he had carriers at any point in the game. Or else he would have had Goliaths by now. Goliaths with range. And upgrades. Let's see what his other upgrades are at. Okay. Infantry is 2 2. Let's see what tech is. 2 2. Okay, so he's upgraded like hell. But this is 2 2 armor plating. Okay, so everybody's at 2 2. What, this should be 3 3, right? 2 2. Okay. Alright, everybody's 2s across the board. You might want to repair that bunker. I mean, that's not going to make a difference against carriers, but. He's hunting for his main, but he's got Valkyries. I personally like Goliaths better, but. He's gotta repair it. He's gotta repair it. I, I was gonna say, it looked like there was there's multiple stacked on top of each other, which is good. So that wasn't really his main. That was. The, is there another one? There's another one on there. Oh, he's not. Oh, I see what he did. But, well. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of main uh, things on top of it. He's blocking it so his, that way his, ins, his resources don't get cut off. Very smart intellectual play right there. You don't see many people do that anymore, though. He's going to go try to take out his uh, fleet beacon so he can't make any more carriers. I, I, 
until he makes another one, which he is, I was gonna say. He's about to probably make another one right now, because he knows this. He already knows that they're gonna try to s destroy his fleet. Unfortunately, I think... Unfortunately for Blue, I think he's already... Yellow's already got the upgrades he needs out of it. He just needs it for the unit. And I'm surprised no ARBs yet. I know scan. Well, he don't have. I mean, yeah, he's getting scan right now. But I know scan. He's gonna have vessels. He should have vessels EMP. Those, those carriers will get destroyed. Valkyries and vessels. All right, that's majority of his PSI right there. So it. Yellow did have the advantage. I don't know. It can go either way at this point. Because he still has some carriers. He's got plenty of storm. He's filling out the middle of the map. He should probably use this skin before he can't use it. He just did. Good play by him. Excuse me. Wow, this is an exciting match. Very, very well. You usually see quick 1v1, so this is actually a treat. I love when 1v1s go to distance. Not when I'm recording, because then it takes longer to upload and stuff, but... Like everything can be like 10 to 12 to 15 minutes tops but we're heading into 21 minute we're heading into 22 minutes in 20 seconds so But I did tell you that uh, it was going to be a late game, 15 to 20 minutes, so, but it actually got out of hand to the point where it became longer. But I knew it was going to be a long game from the very beginning, like I said, so... This might be a long fucking series. Get it. He did get his minerals this time. He got him fat too. Um, he will make those. Like he'll, he'll he'll be able to get him back though. I mean he he doesn't really need that many, but Carriers are so annoying. They're hard to actually get in a 1v1 because um, you're, there's always something constantly going on. So to pull them off to get your carriers, they take a while to make. And then on top of that, you got to get the interceptors that are inside it and the upgrades. and It's just... Very difficult. 
Holy shit, I'm gonna fall asleep. Not that it's boring, it's just so much stuff going on right now, and I never had to talk for 24 minutes straight. As long as 1v1 on the channel. But it's an enjoyable one, so let's just keep it going. Alright, he's going for the drop again. Can he hit them? Can he hit him? Can he hit him? You got one side. That, I, I know what it's like, Blue. I know what it's like. It sucks. A good Protoss. Well, even a decent Protoss will just keep dropping. They just they just know what to do, which is smart. So he's trying to push in his base with tanks and have Valkyries to counter the carriers. Not a bad play, but I was gonna say, you should get more Goliaths. I think he's building some more right now. I think Goliaths will make a GG. Cause you have air, you have the pushing utility, and then you'll have ground as well. You'll have ground and air units. So you'll have ground units, air units, and ground and air units. So, I don't know. He's got to make a lot more zealots. Because his dragoons are not going to be useful at all. It takes two storms to kill these tanks. Might take three with 33 upgrades. I mean, with three upgrades on your vehicle plating, it might take three. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, it takes it takes two. That was at full health, and then it went down to 38. So the next one definitely kill it. Interesting. We got ourselves a match. Although, blue does look like he has it. I don't... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Build more zealots, man. What do you got to... What are you building? He's got reavers, but like... Yeah, I would save them. If you had arbiters right now... I mean, it wouldn't make a difference because he's got so many scads, but... And I'm surprised he don't even have vessels. Vessels EMP, I love that. That tears through buildings and units like crazy. You EMP them. But we should be seeing the GG finally around the half hour mark. If not sooner. He's just got to keep this pressure going. Keep pumping Marines. He only has three barracks pumping. I think I just realized that all game. So he went for a tech style build. Which is not the worst thing in the world. Against a toss, but Marines are just as good against toss with stim and range. Three three upgrades, they melt. Protoss. But yeah, I pick a Terran to win over Protoss anytime in a thirty minutes into the game because I just feel like the Terran. Well, the Zerg actually would be the one that won. If you had all three of these races go to 30 minutes, the Zerg would be the one that wins. But. He's slowly but surely, he's pushing into it. He's a scanned. Goliath. There they come. 
If you don't know what a Goliath is, this is Goliath. They shoot ground and air. They destroy air. It shoots six rockets each attack for the Valkyrie. And it does six damage, but he's got three upgrades, so it's nine damage. You might think nine damage is nothing, it actually does add up. Gotta look at it as uh, nine times six, 54. So basically 54 a second. Get 12 of them, that's 54 times 12 in one second. So over 540, it's 500 and 552. I don't know what it is. Holy shit. I hope the next game, it, I hope this whole series isn't like this. It's GG. 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 Yep, I know it. GG. 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 One nothing goes to Sky. Holy shit. I should make that into two or three parts. But I'm not going to. Hopefully, you guys watch to the end and hopefully, leave a like. That was a lot of talking.